We are block walking in Dallas with Representative Lorraine Birabil. We have Congressman Mark Vesey and Beto. It's a great day today to block walk in Dallas. Beautiful. If you have not gone out to vote, please make sure you do so. Election day, March 3rd need to go out and vote. Y'all should come out and join us if you're in the area. They open the door. You want me to take it? I'll take yeah, it for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Get y'all out there. Oh, wow. This is... What are you listening to right now? Nothing. On the head? Just, no. just <laughs> What yeah. in the world? Like my son. What? I'll just take going it for door you. Door We're going door to door? Yeah. yeah. We're trying to get the vote out. She okay. needs to win this election on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, she's on the ballot, and so we just want to make sure Lorraine comes through with the flying colors. And oh, so wow. Mark and I took the day off and, uh, and are supporting Lorraine. Yeah. Oh, We're wow. Look at you. Yeah. Well, Commanded I can't the attention do it that you without deserve. you. You know, you are a constituent. Yeah. I need your support. Yeah, I was getting my pen out. So. I was working on my boat. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'm a Morgan first area. Well, I'm loving your colors. I, I did not pledge, but all my good friends. Oh, okay. Are so I'm like, like okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't go hard. They got, they got, they got, they got other yeah, houses yeah, to visit. Yeah, is, uh, Lorraine, <laughs> Mark, come on in. Let's, let's all. Yeah, let's yeah. do we need to get it? Are we in the, in the right? Oh, tell us which way we need to. This way. Let this, me see. This Connor, does this work? Yeah, this works perfectly. Okay, all right. okay. I got two more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let's make a move. Quickly. Bang that off in this happens. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. This is beautiful. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. One, two, three. That is a good looking group right there. All right, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Let me see if you get a photographer. Check it out. Check it out and see if you like it. Does it work? Yes. Got it. I'm like, oh, wow, wait a minute. Yeah, I hope I have your vote. You're going to yes. vote to stay. You got to go for you now? All of this? No. Yeah. <laughs> We're neighbors. I know. Not me. I'm not yeah. moving anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, we got to go Tuesday, so yeah. Is, is Lorraine a good neighbor? Yes, she is. Oh, yeah. yes, she is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to yeah. give y'all my okay, information. Okay, thank you. Where were you in? And if I can ever be of assistance, I work for you, so please do not hesitate to call me. Um, I can help with anything that's a state issue. So it could be your driver's license, Star uh, Plus, helping get home health in your home, all different kinds of things. Oh, this is a congressman? What in the world? Tell them where you want to go. WTY. Okay. Why do you want to go there? Is there something there they have that you want to... They have a good art program. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah we just... Uh, Where's Clay Jenkins? He's on a plane to D.C., actually. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sweet. I don't know where John is. Okay. Look at that. Awesome. He's and John is out of the way. I'm like, look. Yeah, I went to church with John, so uh, I know. <laughs> well, so you're a member of St. Luke's. I used to be. When I got well, married... I'm not currently a member of St. Luke's. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, when we got married, I moved over to Silver West. Oh, I forgive y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there when Zan Holmes was there. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this little bit yeah. in my mailbox. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all be well. Okay. okay. All, All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank okay. Thank you. Are you in uh, yeah. in vivo in, yep. in El Face? In El Face. So we, uh, if, if you tuned in earlier, you saw us having a chance to, to meet Lorraine Birabil, who I've worked with for off and on for the last few years, who Congressman Mark D.C. has worked with for, for even longer, who is not only the state rep for House District 100, um, and is not only knocking on doors for an important election on Tuesday, but Lorraine, you actually live in this neighborhood, so these are your neighbors. Absolutely. They know you better than anyone else. And I just asked one of your neighbors, uh, what do you think about Lorraine? Is she a good neighbor? And then he paused, and I was worried that, that maybe he was going to say you weren't. <laughs> but he, uh, he said you're a great neighbor, and it, and it was clear there was a lot of affection for you. And the first door we knocked on, um, the woman answered, said, I voted for you yesterday in early voting. We met another neighbor who'd already voted for you. So um, I think this bodes well, but we can't take it for granted. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got to knock on doors. And we've got to make sure that people are in the habit of voting, to vote in every election, because that's how we're going to flip our state. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Well, we're going to try this door here. Yeah. All right. So uh, Mark Vesey, I was just asking him, this takes him back, because he was a state representative before yeah. he was a congressman. And when did you first run for the state legislature? 2004. Two, so 2004, yeah. he was knocking on doors just like Lorraine is right now. And so he he knows that it is this kind of hard work that wins elections. And um, and it's how I think Lorraine won her special election. Yeah. It's how she's going to win no doubt. this primary on, on Tuesday. And I was asking you earlier, do you, do you miss this at all? Do you miss knocking yeah, on doors? Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, you know, it's great to come out into communities and talk with people because you just learn so much about them. Uh, particularly long time residents, you learn about the neighborhood, what's happened to the neighborhood over the last 20, 30 years, even longer. Uh, you know, what they think about the, the, the city that they live in, uh, you know, what they think about the schools. You find out like so much uh, when you go in door, in door knock, so. T tell me, you were telling me some yeah. stories. You, you met um, uh, an African-American uh, voter who was the first African American to move into right, right, yeah. a neighborhood. You met a white voter who was the last white resident of right. a given neighborhood yeah. because yeah. all of the white residents had moved out of the last right. few years. You were telling me you were actually learning the history yeah, yeah, uh, of neighborhoods or yeah. blocks like this one. Yeah. Right, yeah, it was uh, off of Mitchell Boulevard one year, I'll never forget, over in Fort Worth. Uh, and I'm knocking on doors and I met an older white man, probably in his late 70s, 80, uh, and his son had come up from Mansfield which is a suburb just south of Fort Worth, to come and talk with him, uh, to come in and spend Friday with him. And uh, the guy was telling me, he goes, you know, me and this uh, guy that lived around the corner were the last two white guys in this neighborhood when, he, when they, it used to be an all-white neighborhood. And they had stayed throughout, over the changes, and, and, the, and he loved being there. Uh, you know, conversely, uh, I have met African Americans that live in southeast Fort Worth today, and they talk about when their neighborhood was all white when they moved in. Yeah. And you know how hard it was and, and how painful it was to, for them to see all of their white neighbors leave so rapidly, you know, uh, and the schools changed, um, you know, and of course with that economic development, uh, uh, opera, uh, economic development challenges happen and occur under those sorts of circumstances. So you really like learn a lot um, that you uh, wouldn't have learned if you hadn't shown you up hadn't at their doors. doors. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Are, are you hearing any interesting stories where you're learning something about people in this district that you didn't know about before? Yeah, you know. So I shared my very personal story about you know healthcare and what kind of impact it has. I met a young woman. Um, her husband got sick, was a business owner, um, and unfortunately didn't have access to care, and so um, they had to pay out of pocket for coverage. Fortunately, they were in a position to do that but it bankrupted them. Mm. They literally had their home foreclosed on uh, because they had, you know, he had gotten sick. And uh, when they, when he died, um, she ended up having to move into a one bedroom apartment um, and they lost their house with two small kids. Um, so it's just hard. And so when people talk about uh, expansion of care, 
um, it really is something that is life changing for people, either in a positive or in a negative way. Yeah, that's and right. so we obviously want to make sure that everyone has access to what they need to grow and flourish, whether that's education, whether that's healthcare, things that help them to participate in life in general. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love Lorraine's ability to talk about a policy issue like healthcare or housing or homelessness and then connect it to people's lived experiences and to show how it's all connected. You know, um, we've seen Governor Greg Abbott, um, you know, decrying uh, the homeless in the streets of Austin and other Texas cities without addressing the fact that you just brought up, which is no one chooses to be homeless very often. Uh, but for the grace of God, it could be any one of yeah. us. If we yeah, had right. uh, a medical emergency, if we were uninsured, if we had to pay out of pocket just like this person that you met, um, that could be us uh, out on the street. So and many so, people are one crisis away, literally. Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, uh, that's why I believe in block walking and, and knocking on doors. You, you, we wouldn't have learned these stories if we hadn't met those voters in, in that way. So I think it says something about you that you're willing to take the time to, to meet people where they are. And oh, Lorraine also uh, dialed up the best weather you could possibly have <laughs> yeah. on the block walk today, too. It's, it must what, what be is 70 it like, degrees. I was going to say 65, 70 yeah, degrees. It's, it's like it's perfect. Not a breeze. I mean, just yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect day out right now. So um, uh, reminder, if you live in House District 100, which is the um, the lion with wings shaped district in, in Dallas County. Um, tell us some of the neighborhoods that are in here. So if people are watching, yeah. they may not know that they're in HD. So we have West Dallas. Um, we have a design district, part of medical district. Um, we go south along the Trinity after that. Um, we have South Dallas proper, Fair Park, um, Oak Cliff, um, Joppy, um, part of Pleasant Grove, East Dallas, south of Garland Road, and part of Mesquite as well. It's a pretty wide area. So you've got the feds. Yes, I do. So if you don't know about the feds, I'm learning about the feds. These are the funky East Dallas Democrats, and they are a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. And I know they, uh, many of them, I shouldn't speak for the group, but many of them that I've talked to are super excited about uh, Lorraine. But, you know, think about all these different neighborhoods that, that she's now the representative for and that she wants to go to bat for in the legislature if she can win this election on Tuesday. So please get out there and vote on Tuesday. Please help her out. And if you don't live in HD 100 and you're excited about Lorraine because you've had a chance to hear from her and know how she's campaigning and can see how she would serve, you can go to LorraineForTexas.com. Lorraine with two R's. Four is spelled out. Texas is spelled out. LorraineForTexas.com. Make a donation. Uh, contribute 25 bucks, 50 bucks if you can. Uh, make sure that she has the resources to focus both on her race and then on getting the job done for her constituents here. Cynthia, you want us to keep? Yeah, uh, let's keep going. Cynthia's our okay. producer. All right. Uh, she's she's taken on this new job title of Facebook producer. Right. Uh, Cynthia, how's it going so far? It's going well. We have yeah, a lot of. Anyone have questions for Mark or or for Lorraine on Just, the live stream? Right now, you are getting a ton of shout outs for both Congressman BC and Lorraine. They love what you're about. Um, love seeing you guys out here block walking. So if there's any questions. Uh, write them down and I will do my best to try to ask either Beto, Congressman BC, or Lorraine. Yeah, give give uh, Congressman BC a hard question. Oh, totally. Uh, ask, ask him to <laughs> make it tough. Make it tough. <laughs> yeah, we'll this guy. We we'll roll out the red carpet with this guy now. That's what we're about. He wants me to take the hardest question. <laughs> It is a great day. If you guys have a chance, come on out and join us. I think we are on Glacier Street, right? Is that right? Glacier, Glacier. okay. Could you hold this for me for one second? Yeah, I got you. So warm, I'm gonna take my sweater off. Nowadays, like... everybody has a video. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Tell me your name. I'm David. David, and you work for? Uh, I'm actually just helping out today helping. with Lorraine. I used to work with her for Congressman Mark Vesey. Cool. Um, but happy to help out a good friend. Very cool. And we are on Glacier and... Glacier and... Is it Oak or? Uh, it, we're, it looks like St. Francis is oh, over there. Glacier and St. Francis. So if you guys are in the area, come on out. Join us. We'd love to say hi to you. So they're talking to somebody remotely through their security system. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you.
they said they're gonna vote yeah, for Lorraine. So this, we were just talking with Mark and Lorraine about how, um, in, and this wasn't the case when Mark and I were first knocking doors in our first races. You'd have to knock on the door and the person would answer or they wouldn't be home. Now, someone cannot be home, but through the camera and speaker that they have connected to their doorbell, yeah. you can have a conversation and Lorraine just closed the deal uh, with this voter who said right, that she, she's gonna agree to vote for Lorraine on, on Tuesday. And so, yeah. Lorraine had the patience to wait until you know the doorbell answered. Um, and though that voter wasn't at home, we still got to talk with her. So yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It was and it was funny. Cool. We were just talking about yes. that, and then it happened. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Yeah, Cynthia, crack. Oh, so what's the tough question for Mark? Oh. Has anyone asked you? <laughs> Let me see. I got distracted. Let me. I was excited about that vote. I'll keep looking. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey there. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yes, moving day. Oh. oh wow. What, can we take a piece for you? I'm sorry. Can we move something for you? No, no, we're coming. Okay. Now, quick question. Yes. Are you registered to vote here? Not yet, because we moved here from New York and we need to get all registered. Welcome Wonderful. to Texas. Welcome to Texas. Well, we're here almost a year, but we're moving to Fort Worth. Fort, Fort Worth? Oh, okay. Yeah, I work in Dallas. Well, it's getting ridiculous. Yeah, I'm Marjorie. I'm the US Congressman. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Oh, that's just. Where in Fort Worth? White Settlement, and then work in Victory Park. It was so if y'all have any questions I will pay close attention and try to catch them uh, please feel free to write them down questions for Beto for Lorraine Congressman BC They met someone that is just moving in to their home. I think she said New York. Somebody asked about Lorraine. I'm going to show you. This is um, Representative Lorraine Birabil, who's running for HD 100. It's your state rep here in Dallas. She is amazing and used to work for us and with us in the Senate campaign. She's just phenomenal and would be amazing. If you guys have any questions, want to get to know her a little bit better, go to her website right there, LorraineForTexas.com and you can find out a little bit more about her. And we have Beto and Congressman BC out here supporting her and block walking for her. Buenos dias. Saludos, Jorge. Gracias por el apoyo. vote. Jose, I'm going to pin your question. All right, Beto, there's a question. We do. Uh, area, and because uh, he's OPIU, the biggest union out there is the machinists. Yeah. Lorraine, while they're finishing that up, Leslie says, "I met Lor uh, and, Representative uh, Beer Bill while she worked with Congressman and, uh, Mark Vesey. She took the time to listen to me." Oh. Um, and I mean, goes on to the script. So though. very, you know, very cool. Um, I always tell people, you know, you have to listen carefully and work tirelessly. Because at the end of the day, you are working for your community, um, and you don't know what the needs are unless you're listening. So. And I have a question that might pertain to any of you. Okay. I think there's a question. No. Cynthia has okay. a question. I do. From... There's a question. Where can we vote? Folks want to know if they need oh. more information. Oh, yeah. They want right. to know where do yes. they go to vote. So the great thing in Dallas County um, is that you can vote anywhere, even on Election Day. 
Um, so we have now instituted vote centers, and so you can vote at any of the places that were early voting locations in case you missed early vote, but then you can also vote in your home precinct. You can go to DallasCountyVotes.org to find out all the plethora of locations, um, but literally anywhere in Dallas County. Let's say, for example, if you're working uh, in a different part of the county and it's on the other side of the county where you live, guess what? You can vote by your job. You can vote anywhere on election day. So we're trying to make voting easy here in, in Dallas County. And hopefully if we flip the house, we can make voting easy throughout our state. That's awesome. Well done. Well done. So cool. I think you, yeah. you've got a card from, from your new constituent. <laughs> you're good. Thank you. So nice it's a great you. question. I love that. I, uh, I'm from El Paso, and for early voting, you can go out and vote um, at many of the locations, but for the actual voting date, you have to go to your specific polling location. So. Folks, you, you can come up with a tougher question for Mark <laughs> Easy. I mean, this guy is a fourth-term member of Congress. Um, he's overseeing uh, a massive... All in budget, federal government over three trillion dollars. Um, ask him any question That's about that. Any, any line question. item, um, <laughs> any, any any regulation. Um, all them cite, <laughs> cite any uh, house bill. Mark has got got the answer. For That's me. right. Okay. No more of this softball. Where can I vote? Uh, oh, yeah. stuff. Although that was an important question. That That's was a very important, important question. question. That may be the most you important heard it, question. folks. Send your tough questions. So, Cynthia, can this you way? walk backwards, film, and read the comments? Oh, I sure can, but Cynthia I sure can. Cynthia can do everything. Yeah, no, yeah. Cynthia's great. I remember Cynthia, <laughs> like, uh, where did we go? We went to Drew's over in Colorado. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cynthia was, like, Amazing in the car and yeah. just yeah. doing a great job. Right here. Okay, next time. Cynthia, I want to ask you questions while Lorraine knocks. What have you thought about this experience? I, I bet you people would love to hear from you. What have you... Just thought about going around the country, going around the state when Beto ran for Senate? You know, it has been the best experience I think that yeah. I could have ever asked for. And mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful to oh, get there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, no, it's it's been amazing and all the people that we've had a chance to meet and it really I think in a time where you could feel very depressed and, and sad about what's happening, meeting people, getting out there and doing it the way that Beto has done it. I just feel very honored to be a part of it. It's yeah. been amazing. And yeah. meeting people like you, an amazing congressman. Yeah, no, that's so. awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, here uh, some people have asked me a couple Thank of questions. You. I'll try to remember them. Okay. Uh, I was asked what committees I serve on. I serve on energy and commerce, and I also serve on small business co committee. Normally, when you serve on energy and commerce, that's the only committee that you serve on. But Speaker Pelosi asked me if I would serve on small business committee, and I'm glad that I did. We just recently passed the bill out of there uh, for small businesses, so uh, I'm really excited about that. Um, also, I think someone was asking about veterans and medical marijuana. Uh, I think that that is uh, great for veterans to be able to use that. I think that we need to be able to open up and expand on things like medical marijuana. Uh, and, and make them more readily available and easier for people to be able to use. I think that the, that there's a lot of uh, breakthrough, a lot of hope, uh, particularly for people uh, dealing with you know episodes of PTSD and other uh, you know uh, mental episodes and what have you that may actually uh, be helpful to them. Uh, you know, one of my favorite authors, Michael Pollan, <laughs> that wrote *Omnivores Dilemma* and *In Defense of Food*. He's actually just written uh, a book on mushrooms and psychedelics and things like that, and how some of those things can help people. And we're still trying to figure out uh, the whole medical marijuana piece. So I, I, I think now it's time. I can understand people's concern and why it has taken us so long to get to the point now to where it's legalized in several states. But uh, uh, I think that there is uh, a lot of uh, a hope and opportunity for people that have really struggled out there uh, for a long time. Someone else asked me the question about what do I think of the Democratic pres presidential candidates. Uh, I'm supporting Joe Biden. Uh, and I just I want a candidate that's going to be able to beat Trump. Uh, that's why I'm for Biden. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to vote blue no matter who, like they say. Uh, but I'm going to be strong for Biden and hope that he does well tonight in South Carolina and also hope that he does well uh, in, on Super Tuesday uh, as we go into southern states and we uh, have uh, very diverse experiences when it comes to uh, the Democratic uh, uh, primary party process. So. Uh, there you go. But uh, but please vote and make sure that we vote Democrat in the fall. The most important thing is that we get rid of Trump. Thank you, Congressman Busey. Absolutely. Always so well spoken. Somebody pulled up in their car, found us.
Here, I'll take it for you guys. You have your phone? Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.